different video because I actually have an unboxing. I think the last time I did this was the Diamond Serpentees, but this time I've got Oilus Pegatrix and Oilus Hydronoid. So I picked these up yesterday and I was very excited because both of these are Bakugan that I've needed for a while now for some slightly more competitive decks. Um, so actually, I just kind of want to jump right into it. Or let's take a trick. So, here she is. She looks quite good actually in the oralist colors. <laughs> so I really do like like her. I know my sister has had one because she got it in the Halcor. Heyo's Halcor Star Set comes with a Oralist Pegatrix, but I have not had one until until now. So she is 604, and on the green fist gets plus 300. And luckily enough, she comes with two green fists. Here we have a plus one damage core, and a plus 150 plus two. So I feel like this is more useful than the plus one. If you really wanted a plus damage core, you could use the uh, plus three, but typically people are gonna try not to use damage cores. So I'm just gonna set her off to the side. the Orlis Hydronoid. Now, I already have a Halos Cubo and a Ventus Fangor, but I really needed that Orlis Hydronoid. And now I have, I guess I have a little trade leverage, or I could, uh, could always just do that if I, you know, paint or sharpie the others. He's got a little, uh, little plastic strap. <laughs> Just uh, fell onto the floor. There it is. Let's pop out. That, that happened. May have knocked it over. <laughs> that took more effort than should have. Alrighty, get these cards open. Alright, so we've got Ventus Fangzor. When this opens, the opposing Bakugan gets minus one damage. <sighs> that Oralis Hydronaut Ultra, 200B, two damage, but on a Flaming Fist, plus 1,000. He opens to 1450 on uh, the highest B power Flaming Fist. And then, uh, Kubo here is a 304. 
and on a green fist or a shield, he opens with two frost strike. Then we have stone blade, which is actually not too shabby. In a green fist deck that has Ventus in it, and you're going for that ramp, it's pretty decent. Trick Trap, I finally got another copy of this. I really needed another copy of this for my hero deck. And Darkest Howl, uh, this is, I only have one copy of this and I definitely need this for my uh, Darkest Shields deck. All right, so, I mean, most of these Bakkan are pretty self-explanatory. These two would go in core-based decks and then, I don't know, Ventus Fangs was just not that amazing. So I don't really know if anyone's made that work. You can like let me know. I would be very interested to see that. But uh, I guess for the last segment of the video, I'll uh, show a little hydronoid jumping action. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out.